Our secondary data analysis showed that sales within the overall juice category have steadily declined, with consumers expressing concerns about their health and the artificial ingredients found in juice and fruit products. For a qualitative research project, we set out to find out if millennials between the ages of 25 and 34 judge their health based on the physical appearances rather than internal feelings. We raised the following research question. What motivates young people to be healthy? What is the first word that comes to mind when you think of the word health? Um, fitness. Um, happiness. What inspires you to stay fit and healthy? Um, most of it's just feeling good about myself, because if you're fit and healthy, then you feel good about yourself. Not necessarily to please other people, because that's less important to me. I just don't work out for other people to look at me, and I don't work out to make my body look good so other people can look at me. Um, and I don't want to provoke that. When I work out, there's a couple. I think like definitely one of them is just being fit, like looking fit to my body image. Um, and I think also like it just makes me feel good. Like it wakes me up, it energizes me. Because they would like, they, they would pump each other up, they would hype each other up, they would like say like, yeah, you got this, you got this, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna get ready to lift a lot today, and we're gonna get big, and we're gonna get, it's gain season, so. Uh, I'd say people's motivations for gain season is to get there, to put on mass, to put on muscle, to tone up. When I got into college, I think that that's when a lot of my societal pressures, the societal pressures I mentioned earlier started happening for me. Um, like a lot of the girls on my floor were really thin and they were going out and like wearing these small crop tops and I was by no means like fat or overweight or anything like that. Like I was in really good shape, probably the best shape of my life at that time. Um, but I had like big shoulders and stuff, and so that was hard for me. And um, so that's kind of when I think it started becoming more about like my appearance because I was comparing myself a lot to like the smaller, cuter girls on my floor that I just wanted to be friends with and wanted to be like them. And that's when it became unhealthy for me. Bailey and Vinny both expressed the societal pressures for men to be muscular with the notion of gain season and for women to be thin with the anecdote of Bailey's first year at college and her quest to be accepted by her peers. We then had our participants compare photos of celebrities and tell us who they believed was more healthy and why. We'll do Channing Tatum and Seth Rogen, who is more, most healthy. Channing Tatum, because obviously has a good body, someone who has a good body generally is going to be healthy, probably eats healthy, exercises a lot. Taylor Swift and Nicki Minaj. I would honestly say Nicki Minaj. I think Taylor Swift is just naturally very skinny. I just think, I mean, obviously you look at Nicki Minaj and you're going to be like, oh, like she looks very in shape again, but like you don't know everyone's body structures mm -hmm. and some people are genetically built certain ways too. It doesn't mean they're necessarily more healthy. While societal pressures do play a role in our participants' lives, our interviewees showed a progression in which they stopped comparing themselves to others and instead held their health to a higher standard. Um, after I transferred schools and I stopped swimming, I kind of, I got another slap in the face about like how my habits weren't healthy anymore, um, and I think that once I changed environments, that's kind of when it went back to like, I just want to be healthy, I want like, to live a holistic lifestyle, I don't want it to be about my looks anymore. Our interviewees explained that when they exercise and eat healthy, they feel more positively about themselves. Although all participants admitted to enjoying the physical effects of exercising on their bodies, they said they do not feel pressured to look a certain way, but rather to feel a certain way. From this information, we drew the following two insights. The first, when people feel good, they look good. And second, people are motivated to live a healthy lifestyle to make themselves happy. To work out and eat right because I want to feel good, because eating right, all the everything that comes with eating right, all the good nutrients that come to your body, you feel healthy, you feel great. It's like a mind-body connection. 